Greetings, all praise, King Selassie. Major promotion of sciences is happening. As you may recall, earlier uh, this year, there were parades for scientists. And uh, this was pretty well carried within the communication channels. And the purpose is to force people in the direction towards the beast. Sounds like a joke, but if you, if you examine it and really think, you come to decide that, you know, where were these people, right? The, uh, the earth is facing its demise. You have people, feces, that have cropped up to uh, tell us that you know we're gonna be headed to Mars um, you know uh, chip in chip in chip in everybody chip in cuz soon for a thousand dollars you can have your own ticket to Mars something's wrong um, and, and, and people are being left in the dark you know these folks haven't even been you know to some of the places on the earth and they're already concerned about going somewhere else. You know, either, you know, the earth is about to explode or um, these folks really, really can't be satisfied. Either way, we don't need to be listening to them. Um, where were the scientists? You know, the scientists were working for the industrial based institutions, which function for the capitalists to produce profit and to promote the capitalist cause. When, you know, when, when, when surveys are done, you know, on the, on the uh, communication channel we hear, you know, a survey was done by this institution or a study was done by this institution. What do you think, we're, why are we being told this? We're being told this because it, it has the, uh, you know, the tendency to come across as, as good information, as something we should really know. Somebody's giving us something free, you know, for, for, our, for our enhancement. But reality is, you know, this is a feeding process. They're feeding people uh, information so as to, you know, psychologically alter, um, you know, these, these folks' perception. And um, in particular, their perception of the common law system because that's what capitalism really is capitalism is just another term you know like the terms that are being thrown around sovereign citizen and you know uh, right you know all this stuff that the, the babylon man uses as terms because they have negative you know associations so that people um whenever they want to paint somebody in whatever light they can just throw a term out there well you know this is basically the same thing i mean misnomers um, possibly misnomers but either way um, these are terms so that um, people you know just don't really define what it is they're talking about and if there's no real uniform definition then essentially we're just talking you see um, so we'll come together and figure out what it is we're fighting against fighting against common law um, you know you, you hear all the time you know the Constitution 1776 the Revolutionary War Thomas Jefferson George Washington I mean come on now we we, we, we chase the dollar every day right so we're 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 serving these slave masters and, and they drafted this Constitution for themselves now uh, apparently somewhere along the way it, it, it became available for everybody you know that the, the original intention was, was freedom for all. And it, the, this is the constitution that we need to spread around the world, but now the English need to spread theirs. I mean, this is just major confusion. That's why the Christ came and, and put it down and said, these are the commandments of men. They are not of I, they are of men. And therefore, they're evil, they are against I, they are part of the Antichrist. And that is why the I and I call this the beast. As proclaimed in the Revelation, the beast is real 
and you know man some people that go to these congregations may be waiting for some hairy you know monster uh, uh, Loch Ness monster to come out of the woods and you know oh that's the beast no this is a different type of beast this is man's law you see in the scripture we are given a law to follow this is the most fundamental principle of I weigh the man has a vow, a covenant to fulfill with the Creator. And this is what pleases the Creator. And as a result, what awards us. And yet, the man's law is coming at a price. And this is the thing that people still fear. You know, the man can tell the people, you're going to drown tomorrow, but stay where you are because it's the law. And you know, people that actually have discovered that man is wicked will probably think for themselves and survive. But those who have put their faith in man will die.